All right, guys, welcome back to another Detroit Become Human episode. I've lost count. This should be episode 13 or 14 or I think it's 13, but doesn't matter. We are nearing the end. Carl Manfred. Oh. Wow. That was his owner, remember, guys? I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. Hmm. You taught me everything I know, but you didn't prepare me for this, Carl. I believe we would win because our cause was just, and I can see now that I was wrong. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Help me, Carl. Please help me. Crazy dude. <gasps> That's his son. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's his freaking son. Oh, shit. He was like, Wait, what? How is this guy still here? Oh, and this game gets too good. There's a lot of androids here, man. Look at this. We have the bomb. Change my settings again, for the love of God. Okay. So talk to your people. Okay, we will start from left to right. These are my people. Simon, how you doing, bud? People are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. He didn't even say a word. It says talk to Simon, but <laughs> Simon did all the talking. You said nothing, dude. What the? <laughs> all right. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Talk to Carol, decide Connor's fate. Hmm. 
let's see here. Before I talk to Connor, let me talk to this guy here. Forgot his name. I think it was John or some something very basic like that. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Josh, that's what it was. All right. Last one is Connor. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. Sounds good, damn. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. <gasps> They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Oh man, this is gonna be one of those, huh? One of those crazy suicide missions. All right. Talk to your people. Oh, well, I just spoke to everyone, you know. What else? Okay, here we go. Who's this north? Situation: survivors wound camps. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants, so they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any by components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. Yeah, I love girl. You, Marcus. Oh, damn, girl. Don't talk to me like that. kind of crazy though man like robots with feelings and shit <laughs> they say it's a virus but I call it love okay <sighs> sorry I don't mean to get corny on your ass I know the Detroit episode but it's just in my DNA it's in my bio components inform your people of your choice all right, listen up, robots. We're going to take over the world. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. 
Okay, so march peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities. Launch an assault on the camps to liberate. Revolution. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. Oh, shit. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? <laughs> I don't know robots had so much emotion. God damn. <laughs> Looks like a Super Bowl crowd, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Settle down, robots. I thought you'd all like just put your fingers in the air and make some weird sound, but not scream like fucking maniacs. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! All right. Uh, hacking. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. All right. Thank Please. you, Madam President. Worrying Madam theft. President. Uh, intelligent life. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. All right. Madam President. Nerd. Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Madam President. Has the leader of the deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! That's Convoy scary. Of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Thank you. That will be all. You prick! You're a prick! Sorry, I just had to say that. All right. November 11th, here we go. They would make it very snowy and depressing, right? What was this? Who is inside here? Oh, is our buddy Connor? Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Bows. Identification <laughs> successful. He's like Okay. I'm expected. Get out of here. Go ahead. Well done, Marcus. Well done. Well done. So we're going to cyber life now. Uh, wondering how close we are to the end. Guess we'll find out. That is cyber life? Jesus Christ, the owner of that must be wiping his ass with fucking twenty dollar bills. That is insane. Okay guys. So remember we're coming here to uh to free all the, the androids, because Connor gave Marcus a suggestion and he well, he did. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. 
Damn it, Marcus. I mean, Connor. Hmm. Follow the guard. I, I am so interested to see what happens. I'm going to try and play this as best as I possibly can. I feel like this is going to be critical moments. This looks beautiful. This is impressive, I'm not gonna lie. This is quite impressive, my friends. Quite the impressive, the impressive company you got here, Cyberlife. Well, I, as you can see, they still have some androids here, so. We'll see. What do we have here? Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Warehouse. That doesn't sound good. Well, warehouse is probably where they're keeping the androids. Or is it where they dump the androids? It's a big difference. Alright, so neutralize the guard, stop the elevator. Right, L1. Oh, camera status. Enabled. Hack the camera, maybe? And just like that, camera status has been disabled. Use panel. Right, if I use the panel, he's probably not going to let me. Alright, let's reconstruct this. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll do this one. Here we go, boys. It's gonna fight. It's 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 gonna fight right now. Here we go. Oh my god, the action has commenced. Oh my god. Oh shit. Son of a bitch. Get the fuck off me. Oh, damn, Marcus, you're not. I mean, Connor, you're not allowed to wield a weapon. You fucking nuts. I mean, it's the end of the world for androids, so fuck it. Might as well do that shit. Here we go. Please indicate your identity and destination. Hmm. Agent 54, Connor. Oh uh, no. Agent 54. Level sub 49. <laughs> That's awesome. Voice Get rag noobs. Access authorized. Okay. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Now let's have 20 minutes. Okay. Talk to Alice. Right? I'm, I'm really cold. Hot, cold sensitivity activated. Oh, let's deactivate. It's kind of crazy that Alice is a freaking robot, dude. That's that's a shocker. I still can't believe that. It's insane. Thanks. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Okay. Found a gun. A gun that was used to kill our people. How could I ever pick that up? Oh, God. Are we going to pick it up? <laughs> Shit, of course. Why would we? I mean, it's fucking... Fucking Kara, man. Oh look, heavy rain in the back. That's a little That's a little Easter egg right there. It's playing. Let's not stay here. Yeah, we're gonna have to be very careful here. Oh god, this is not good. No! Please don't hurt me! Stop on your knees! What are we gonna do? Uh-oh. We have to keep going if we wanna catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. That's a big promise there, uh, Kara. You sure about that? Don't kill me. I didn't do anything. All right. Shut up, I said. Are there many more? Right, here we go. Like 
Here we go, boys. All right. There are soldiers everywhere. Oh crap! We need to be careful. Okay. How about now? Can we go? All right. Here we go, guys. I am so scared right now. No risk. Nobody's looking. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Fuck! Oh crap, that's Luther. Look over there. It's Luther. We can't help him, Alice. Oh my god. The soldiers are everywhere. Oh god. We're gonna kill him. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. We have to save Luther. We have to. Okay. There's 60 minutes, uh, 60 minutes left, but we have to do this. That is our friend. Hey, buddy. Oh no. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me. No risk, we're gonna... no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No. No. Please. Ah! Oh, find a weapon. Oh god. Approach slowly. Slowly, slowly. Oh shit! Get the shit out of here! Oh my god, this is nerve wracking! Save me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. Hey. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Oh my god, oh my god. I, I'm literally so fucking nervous right now. I thought you were dead. Oh god. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Alright, we have to hide now. Keep hiding, keep moving. Okay, high risk. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, don't fucking do anything. Please, just leave. Go, 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 Oh god. Oh, this is so fucking nerve wracking. Oh. oh god. Jesus. God, you sons of. Go, go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm so fucking nervous. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a checkpoint. No. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Fuck, man. Are you serious? Checkpoint risky. Seven, uh, whatever, three minutes. Bus leaves in nine minutes. Detour, 11 minutes. There's no way we'll make it. Oh, God. Fuck it. Let's risk it. Every time we've risked it, risk, risked it, risked it, risked it. We've, we've, we've come out victorious. Here we go. Please, God, please, please, please give Alice and Carl and Luther. The I don't like humans who carry guns. Oh God, fuck. Please. They make me nervous. Shut the fuck up. Just stay calm. Oh All right, God. Luther. Don't do anything until I say so. Okay, Luther, shut the hell up. ID, please. We do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Oh. I just excused curfew. Our car just broke down. We're finishing on foot. We live nearby. He suspects something. Stay calm. 
Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? Cold. She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Oh, my God. Thank God. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, no. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Shut the fuck up. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. Oh, my God. You dropped it. Oh, my God. No oh, shit. My... You're welcome. I have goosebumps in my ass, bro. Oh, goodness. Dude. Wow. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Woodward Avenue. All right, here we go. Oh, march toward the camp. All right, dude, that Alice and um and Kara was horrifying. Wow, that was horrifying. Oh my God, military forces—they want to apprehend the androids right now. Here we go. I'm gonna keep marching. Stay calm. Shit. Here we go, boys. Now we have reporters around, so we have a little bit of a crowd, which kind of helps us. Peaceful. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. Uh, what is that? Oh, they're literally trapping us in. Freaking assholes, man. There's no turning back now. Oh, God. Calm, firm, calm. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Oh, goodness. All right, we'll keep going. Fire! No, no! Fire! Oh, no, fuck! Kneel, sit, raise hands, raise fist. Sense. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? We are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Josh Douglas, Channel 16. <clears throat> Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? <clears throat> we hold out. As long as we can. 
God damn it, Marcus. All right. The Cyber Life Tower, Bell Isle. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cyber Life. We're here. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. Hack this shit here, man. Open sesame. There we go. Thank you. Look at all my brothers and sisters. Well, all my brothers. They're all males. Damn, Cyber Life only likes males. What the fuck is that, man? Sex ass mofos. I'm just kidding, guys. Okay. Damn, my hair looks like shit. Oh, well. Right, here we go. Hmm. What are you doing, Connor? Oh, he's gonna activate them, probably. When he puts that white hand, it's basically you connect with them. L2. What? Piece of shit. What? Step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. Okay, well, we're here with Alice. The bus terminal. Nice. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Oh, Canada border. All right, so. Last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. Oh no. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. Oh no. Find a way to leave. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Oh no. All right, so do we have to find tickets or? Yep. Okay. Broadcast. Marcus. Do we find tickets? Where do we find tickets? Oh, maybe here? Oh, God. I want to find tickets, but... Oh, look. Oh. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Oh, man. Oh! Whoa. Adult ticket. Shit. So we need two more tickets. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was Shit, sure. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Fuck. <sighs> Never mind. Ah! Oh. oh, what do I do? What do I do? Whew. All right. No. Sorry. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. Oh my God! It's asking me I'm again. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here. In my oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I gotta go! Okay. Security check. Please don't move. Right, is there anything else here? Catch the bus. Sure there's nothing else here, so catch the bus, right? Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
Oh, dear God. All right, catch the bus. Whew. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No, they're humans. No. No, of course not. Sorry, I, 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 I just, we needed the fucking tickets, bro. We've been through too much. We've been through too much. Oh, goodness. Get your ass in that bus. Don't even look back. I swear to God. Oh, my God. This was so nerve wracking. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. That was horrible. That was that was horrible. My right, heart plaza. All right, Marcus. Let's do what we got to do here, bud. Okay, we got the reporter still looking at us. Which means we have to be civil about this shit, bro. Reinforce barricade. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Okay, cool. So, push. Hey, help me. Come on, boys. Giddy up. Move that booty. Let's go. So, R2. L2. There we go. I'm so nervous as to how this is going to end. I'm, I'm seriously... I don't even want to think about it. Right. That should do it. Uh, that's the barricade right there. Oh, goodness. Oh, no, that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. All right, Josh. Enter barricade. I will stand with my people now and forever. Send message to journalists. Support your people. All right, let's light this up. Don't know why androids would need fire. I mean, it's not like they can just turn off their cold mechanisms, just like we did with Alice. But I guess support your people. I want to support my people. I want to make sure I have backup when Many I need it. people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Get up. Great advice, Marcus. Absolutely. Leadership 101. I will light this one up. Again, I don't know if this will make any difference, but I'm just going to do it because it's, it's kind of asking me what to do. It's asking me to do it, basically. So we got somebody there. And we have a... Let's see. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? No? Okay. Just pick up the flag then. Okay. Put this there. I'm assuming this is a... Opinion. Oh, Jericho. Awesome. Sounds good, man. So maybe put another one on the other side, I would assume. Okay. Let's see, what do we have here? All right, so we have one. I think we have a group here we should speak to. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is north. Wow. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. Humans. They're getting into position. Hmm. If they attack, no one will survive. Oh, 
god. Regrets, desperate, doubts, grim. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. Dang, girl. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Come on. Don't kiss her just yet. Come on, man. We got shit to do. That's how they hug each other, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. to use that to be honest now right, let's go see over here what do we have here oh Marcus, I need to pick this up what you asked for there's some journalists over there we have to make sure they know what's going on perfect got it Prisoners equality, alive, free, equality, right? I think that works. Very nice. Uh, hold barricade, support your people, check. Um, support your people, check soldiers position. Support your people. Okay, let's go over there. Support our people one last time. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll do what we gotta do. Okay. I think it's actually one more. Marcus! Oh, come Marcus, on, come man. look! Oh, come on, man. Oh, Marcus! Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. I don't trust this fucking asshole. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm not armed, Marcus. I just want to talk. Refuse. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? Refuse. Fine. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? Oh, fuck. And that's a chance I'll have to take. Whew. Dude, I'm scared. Marcus, Marcus, do not die. Whatever you do, please don't die on me. You have come too far for this. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. Oh. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Sons of bitches, bro. Not afraid. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android. You seem to really care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? 
You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. Oh my god. Refuse deal. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Oh my god. <clears throat> Oh no, they're gonna shoot him. Please. Okay, good. Oh my god. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? Uh-oh. Oh god. The humans are about to launch an attack. Oh, God. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. That's right. Oh, what? No, you son of a bitch. Oh. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. Then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. Oh, God. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? <coughs> or are you going to sacrifice him? Uh, save Hank. All right. All right. You win. Suppose shoot. Oh. Oh, 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 Con Con I mean, Connor versus Connor. Oh, shit. It's getting real. <laughs> right, we gotta focus here. My eyes are all over the place. This is fucking hilarious. He's holding the gun. He doesn't know what to shoot. Hold it. Thanks, Hank. <clears throat> I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. Oh, that's a fake one for sure. The one that talks it's too me, much. Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only That's the real Connor, Connor. would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... Oh my god. My son, what's his name? Oh. Cole. Cole. 
His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Oh, wrecked. <laughs> Headshot. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. <clears throat> Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. Fucking Hank, bro. Love that guy. Ah. Oh. oh, one. Oh, two. Wake up! Oh man. Here we go. Wake up. Wake up. The army wake commences. Up. Wake up, 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 wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Shit, man. This is gonna be exciting. Okay, US Canada border outside of Detroit. Oh my god. We're almost there, boys! Almost inside Canada! Cross the border. Are you Wait, serious? We are controlling all passengers to detect Android presence. Oh my god. It's not good. We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Oh my god, we turned off our temperature. Don't worry, Alice, we'll be fine. Luther, you've always been a good friend to me. All right. Um, Next, Jerry. Please. That's Jerry there, isn't it? You risked your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Oh man. <sighs> That's the passport control. Oh, wasn't that Rose? Rose? Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Help found. Find a discreet place. Restrooms? Come on, man. Be a dick. Rose? You here? Oh, God. Dude. I don't know what's going to end up happening with these guys. She crying? Borderline human emotions right there, for real. I'm so glad you're safe. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Thank God you're all right. Brother control. Revolution departure. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there too. You'll be safe with him. Nice. Control, Revolution, Alice. Departure. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Departure Revolution, Alice. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Uh, Revolution. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. <sighs> Rose. Alice is an android. If anything should happen. Or never mind. Take care of us. Be there, Cobra. She's so nice, man. Shit. Talk to Rose. Is there anything in here that we can use? No. Alright, let's go. <gasps> Do we speak to this guy? I don't know. Should we speak to him? I couldn't understand. Oh, that's Adam. I wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. <laughs> You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Thank you, buddy. What's gonna happen now? Oh my god. Oh shit. Make a decision. Sacrifice self. Luther. Jerry. <clears throat> oh man, I can't fuck these people up. If I wanna go for a good ending. Alright, I'm gonna risk it. Next, please.
Oh, I am shooting bricks right now. ID, please. Oh. Stop it. Please. Android March. Welcome to Canada. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh my god! <sighs> dude, if we would have been really rebellious and like fucking angry, that dude would have changed his mind. Did it, dudes? We're going to Canada. <laughs> well, wherever you are in Canada, whatever. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants demonstration by force this time. Hard plaza. Oh man. North. Oh my god. Come on, Marcus, you got this, bro. No, no, no. Oh my god. Dude, this is insane. You a savage, bro! Ooh. Fucking, this is what you call a superhero, dude. <laughs> Look at this shit. He's <laughs> oh man, this is so epic, dude. Dirty bomb, are you crazy? Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. the city of Detroit. Awesome. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this 
unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Dude. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. <clears throat> we did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. That is so awesome, dude. It's amazing. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Amanda? Amanda? What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! Whoa. He feels cold now, so like... There's got to be a way. Find a way out. Okay. There's only one way to go. Oh my god. Are you fucking sick? All right. How was the guy talking, right? Elijah. 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 Jesus. All right. So the game froze. I was able to continue a little bit before this. Of course, I'll crop that part out. I thought I was going to lose everything. I was, I was so scared, bro. This is actually where we came in one of the earlier episodes. Time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. No, Connor. No. Don't do it, Connor. You're a good guy. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, <coughs> we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. 
Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. stupid no what now come on man okay it's peaceful music beats were good it's over Alice. we're free Wow, man. That's it? Shit! I don't think the ending could have been better than that. I think that's probably the best ending. Oh my god! Oh! Dudes, if you like this, series please leave it a like guys i enjoyed myself so much this was amazing thank you to everyone that was part of this series and and dropped a like comment and just came back and watched wow it hurts me to say that the series has come to an end i hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and as always thank you for watching my videos i'll catch you guys in the next one